for your five minutes to question. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, Secretary Becerra, Ranking Member Rogers, Subcommittee Ranking Member Guthrie, and myself have sent numerous questions on COVID origins to the NIH. Can you please get them to answer, yes or no? I'm sorry, what's the question? Will you get the NIH to answer our questions in related to relationship to COVID origins? <clears throat> Congressman, I know that the NIH has answered yes or no. many of the questions that have okay. been asked on If you can give me a, a more detailed answer later, I would appreciate it. I got a lot of questions to ask in a okay. short period of time, as you are familiar. Last June, uh, after visiting the border, I asked Ac Acting Assistant Secretary of the Administration for Children and Families whether the Office of Refugee and Resettlement, ORR, needed additional authority or resources from Congress to improve the inadequate process of vetting potential sponsors of unaccompanied children. And what they're telling the American people is, is that they're doing, they're doing background checks. And what they're doing is, they're doing a background check on a computer that's not part of the criminal background system in our country. They're just checking, you know, people finders or uh, been verified, that kind of thing, not adequate. I got a written response stating, quote, ORR is currently in conversations with our agency partners to determine what additional authority or resources are needed from Congress in order to improve the sponsor vetting process, but nothing further. In the meantime, unaccompanied children continue to arrive in the U.S. ORR continues to place children with sponsors with no real background check. If we were doing this in a custody case, and I used to practice that kind of law, Either the, either the attorneys or the judge would be in front of somebody trying to figure out why they didn't do a proper background check. So have you taken any action to improve the vetting process for unaccompanied minors and their, and their un, truly unvetted sponsors, yes or no? Congress, and I understand you may have to get back to me. Can you get back to me with a, a full written answer on that? Because I'm very concerned about this. Because while I don't think they should be here, if they're going to be here, let's make sure we're putting them with safe people. I, I will continue with another question and expect a, a full answer. Can you get me an answer? I need, do need something affirmative. In. Uh, well, I can tell you I don't agree with the way you uh, posed the question, but I will provide you with an answer to try to give you as best information I can. And I, and I appreciate that. And I just, look, most of that I stated the facts. We might disagree on whether they should be here or not, but the facts are they aren't doing a proper vetting process. And, and no, if our court systems were doing this, there would be people in trouble with the public. All right, I, you, I, I'm going to go back to another question. issue of vetting, that's where I disagree with you, but we will respond right, to well, your questions. We're going to have to continue to disagree on that because it's just plain poor. All right, last year you and I discussed the fact that President Biden had instructed agencies to maximize the use of goods, products, and materials produced in the United States. I hope you're making plans to refill the strategic national stockpile. American manufacturers stand ready to provide supplies. Will you commit to ensuring products that your agencies buy come from manufacturers whose operations are in the U.S.? Yes or no? 340 million free at-home test ship, 270 million free N95 masks. We have done what we need to do to make sure we have a stockpile that can... Uh, but are they manu American manufactured? Because we got lots of people out here who are, are saying they're going to go out of business because we're buying from the Chinese again. And, and, we, and by the way, because of the instruction given by Congress, we have more authorities to make sure domestically... Uh, manufactured products are available and in that uh, and we'll give line. you whatever you need on that I'm sure look forward um, to working with last you. week I joined my colleagues Kathy McMorris Rogers and Brett Guthrie in sending you a letter with some questions about troubling increase in deaths associated with substance use disorder will you commit to getting us a a timely response a complete timely response on that question on those questions and I'm you I know you probably haven't seen it but if you can give us a timely response it would be greatly appreciated say June 1st June 15th Congressman, we're committed to try to respond as quickly as we can, and please just be in touch if you haven't gotten the responses. I, I appreciate that. We will be. In its response to a March 8th letter I sent to SAMHSA, it stated that it is not and has no plans for conducting, collaborating, or funding studies about the mental health impact of the pandemic. Do you not agree that the institution responsible for overseeing our nation's mental health should be involved in such work, yes or no? Okay, I, I, I'm not sure I understood because SAMHSA is absolutely engaged in trying to make sure we are assessing the needs throughout the country for mental health services. Well, that's not what they told me. I'll send you a copy of the letter. Thank All you. right, last but not least, when it comes to treating patients with substance use disorder, it is critical that 42 CFR Part 2 be revised to better align with HIPAA regulations. The CARES Act instructed Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, SAMHSA, to do so with a deadline of March 2021. These regulations have yet to be published. Earlier this month, I asked your colleague, Dr. Delphine Rittmond, for a status update. She was unable to provide it. Can you? Congressman, you threw a lot of numbers, code sections at me. Uh, okay. Without a further reference, it'd be hard for me to respond. 
We, all right, and I, and I do appreciate that, and that's why I said I had to move quick because I had a lot of questions in a lot of big areas, and these are not simple questions. I will get you a written question, appreciate but that. I really would like a response on that because we're a year behind what the law says you all were supposed to do. Appreciate I yield back. That. We'll follow up. Gentleman yields back. Uh, chair is pleased to recognize.